Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Sorry about the background noise. I literally just clicked uh, onto my audio and Puddles starts being a little maniac in my room. <laughs> Oh, oops. Video's not working. Video's working now. Okay. <laughs> OBS is really weird with the recording my actual screen sometimes. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I don't know if any of you use OBS, but I know that when I'm using OBS, sometimes my, like, actual video doesn't record until I click on the video, and then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, this works. The cats are going crazy in the background. But yeah, we're going to be streaming J-Clan. If you missed the other two streams, we're streaming one year of J-Clan who will eventually be a neighbor of Galaxy Clan because Galaxy Clan is moving. Overall, we're going to be playing three years of each of these clans, but we're just going one year by one year for each of them right now, so this will be closing out the first year in general of these new clans. This is also not the beginning of a clan. J Clan will have already been here. Also, if you didn't hear it already, Galaxy Clan's been delayed until mid-December. Need some more time on the video. Um, Buzzard Daisy is indeed confirmed to be Raven and Cinder's dad. Also, lore-wise for J-Clan. If you missed my previous streaming clans that aren't Viper Clan or Moss Clan, my first streaming clan was Ash Clan. And the lore-wise is that J-Clan is actually surviving ancestor bordering clan that Ash Clan had because this actually was one of their bordering clans in-game. There is so much crazy cats in the background. I apologize. <laughs> um, so lore-wise, J-Clan worships birds... They see them as Star Clan coming to say hi to them. So smaller birds and stuff, they will see as literally their old loved ones coming to say hi. We'll get a closer look at all the kittens in a bit. Um, so we're going to do our best to not hunt any of the actual birds. <laughs> because lore-wise, this clan doesn't hunt birds to the point that birds don't see them as enemies anymore. And they just chill in camp sometimes. My favorite cat in Galaxy Clan is Burdock Star, um, current, more current cats, um, Fernheart, and Dark Whistle. But yeah, let's see J Clan. Yeah, birds are friends, not food. If we do accidentally get a bird in the game, um, I'm either gonna say that wasn't canon or someone did an oopsie. <laughs> um, Buzzard Daisy was an old elder in Galaxy Clan that joined semi-early into the, into the start of the clan. These guys specifically don't have any relation to Galaxy Clan, though I have noticed that Tiny Star does look a lot like if Burdock Star... She kind of reminds me of Burdock Star with Hop Whiskers white patterning. But I don't think they're related unless it's like really, really distant stuff. <laughs> but Galaxy Clan will be moving here and this will be one of their new neighbors in the future. Hello, you didn't miss much. I was just going over some starting lore and introducing the cats and we're about to start that. So our leader is Tiny Star, who saw a yappy little dog yesterday. She is grumpy with 107 moons. So she's a bit on the older side. We also have these free apprentices right now that I'm not sure if we should assign to be 
children of any of the living cats that we have right now or if they should just be either brought into the clan or their parents might be gone now. In the event of an owl or hawk or anything like that trying to take a cat or a kit, um, J-Clan would just say that that is just Star Clan wanted them right now. It was not in the stars for them to live. They aren't angry about deaths that are caused by birds themselves. They see that as a straight up sign from Star Clan and they accept it. Hello, welcome. Oh geez, sorry, it's 1 a.m. It is 4 p.m. at my time. Our deputy is Tulip Leaf, who already thinks that he's going crazy. He, he is 105 moons old, adventurous. Our medicine cat is Slumberstream. He is interpreting an omen, which is a great start. He's adventurous and 109 moons old, so all of our positions are po of power are quite old. Oh, glad you like the thumbnail. <laughs> And here's Willow Tooth, who is 117 moons old, childish, and incredible runner. Is hoping Tiny Star doesn't assign him to the next Dawn Patrol. You're not too late, no worries. J Clan isn't too happy that the other clans hunt birds, but they don't make a fuss about it. Just a little clan that I'm making with traditions, not a challenge or anything. Just trying to make some lore for these guys. Oh, slumber stem, sorry. <laughs> I can read. And here's Rhyme Drop, which is a pr very pretty name. She is also grumpy and she's a lore keeper. 87 moons old. Almost got lost near some two leg nests. Um, I would love plushies in the future. I just don't think I'll be able to make them, but those would be really fun. Quillpaw is sharpening their claws. I don't actually know what a rhyme is. <laughs> like, specifically the spelling of it. Hi, Puddles. There is a cat by the microphone. Quillpaw is 11 moons old, ambitious, and a little boy. He's sharpening his claws. Puddles. <laughs> there is so much chaos already. Sorry about that. He's trying to get behind the microphone setup to get into the window. He keeps getting his claws stuck in everything. Um, my in real life cats vary in what they look like. Puddles is a little orange tabby with some white spots. Colby is mostly white. Um, he has kind of like a Turkish van coloring with orange. Pippi is black and white, and then Kit Kat is the stereotype is the main coon that's like tabby, brownish, grayish. Yeah, we have Quillpaw, Tallpaw, who is thoughtful, oddly observant, and 11 moons old. 
Lupa, who is another little boy who is eight moons old, ambitious, active imagination. Also, is 50 when they become warriors? Because if so, I feel like he should already be a warrior, but I'm not quite sure. Quill is a great prefix for a bird theme clan. Um, I don't think there's a special warrior ceremony for this clan, but in general, the vibes are just, we have been here the longest, we also worship birds, we like to collect feathers, we have birds in our camp. Okay, 50 is when they become warriors. Okay, so Talpa should be a warrior literally next moon. I know the minimum to become a warrior is 10 moons. Yeah, and J-Clan had been pushing for Viper and Moss to stop fighting. And an actual thing I was thinking might be the reason why we're missing some seemingly parents of these guys is potentially they had a war with Viper Clan before this. Wouldn't surprise me. And here's our elder, Duckfall. We picked her because the name was too pretty. Also, don't be mad with Garlic, Kick, Garlic Kit, their baby. She is loving, a good swimmer, a learner of lore, but she's also 150 moons old, so I'm not sure how long she's going to live. Yeah, I do think that she looks a lot like Blue Paw. Um, I don't think that she's his parent, but I will set her as his adopted parent, because I feel like, if anything, she's probably his grandma. And this is the easiest way to set that as that. <laughs> um, I don't think offering birds as, as, like, any offerings would be a thing, but in general, J-Clan is kind of accepting but they're also really proud and a bit stuck up. <laughs> J-Clan basically thinks they're always right. Rhyme is a Rhyme is basically a rapid freeze of water or water vapor. Black ice, really cold mist, stuff like that. Basically quicker frost if you're still wondering about the name Rhyme. Thank you. You didn't miss much. We're basically just introducing everyone and then we're going to patrol for the first time. Yeah, I can see them getting feather accessories. And here's our baby garlic kit. We made her we made her the child of Tulip Leaf because she's still a baby. She is a daydreamer with morbid curiosity, which means she'll have ghost sight. And I love her. And yeah, let's go on patrols. Actually, I did not check the settings. Uh, do that. Yeah, this looks like I already adjusted them. Yeah, like Garlic Star from Ash Clan. Yeah, feather accessories are kind of controversial. Um, in general, I know they can happen on the tails in Clan Gen. In general, I'm going to be avoiding any feathers on the head slash neck area. Basically lower on the body, like tails and stuff. Let's send out the apprentices with all their mentors. So Willowtooth can go out with Blue Paw. Oh, immediately we find a wounded cat. Golden Spot joined the clan. Cool. Who are you? Oh, you're pretty. She's 40 moons old, a calico, adventurous, natural intuition, great climber. Used to live as a loner, but after another cat chased them from their home, they took refuge in the clan. And she has head damage, so I'm hoping that she'll be okay. I'm gonna take a look at what she looks like healthy. Oh, she's gorgeous. I love her. I hope that she gets better. Um, I, 
kind of have a perfection complex. I understand that I'm not perfect, but I do try to try to be like that. <laughs> but I understand I'm not. <laughs> but I always strive to be better with my work and stuff. Quillpaw can go out with Tiny Star. She does have golden spots. Oh, we see a Thunder Path. Um, against my better off. <laughs> I I'm going to proceed. We wait until they can hear the wind whistling, not a murmur of a monster, and cross the Thunder Path. Good job. Ooh, a morning vigil while they watch the bird songs. It sounds really nice. I, I imagine they would still try to save kits from hawk from hawks and stuff, but if they can't save them in the end, then Star Clan was taking them. They're gonna have better luck than Bug Clan at least. Hello, welcome to your first stream. I heard about the update for the prey count. I believe that's only in the dev version. I'm not on that one. Paul Pa can go with Tulip Leaf. They see a squirrel. And Tall Pa catches the squirrel. Good job. Um, Rhyme Drop can go hang out with the medicine cat. Rhyme Drop tells Slumber Stem about the dream they had last night. And Slumber Stem shakes their head sadly. They can't make sense of the vision. Speaking of that, here is our Star Clan guide. They are Gentle Paw. He was eight moons old in life, lonesome, great storyteller. All of our guides t seem to be apprentices. I've seen people theorizing that maybe they had been friends in life. But yeah, gonna save. And we're gonna do our first time skip. Wow, one moon, not even one moon in technically, and we already have a new friend. I forget what I have the relationships as. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep these two on until someone has kits. Quillpaw's eyes gleam as they stare up at Tiny Star, vowing silently to, to themselves to one day be up there. They are named Quillbelly after their passion. Interesting name. Tiny Star almost feels intimidated by the knowledge Tall Paw has gathered in their months of training and feels confident when they name them Tall Echo in honor of their empathy. Tall Echo is fun. Aw, uh, and Tall Echo and Willow Tooth watch the moon rise. That's really cute. Um, I don't know how to get on the dev version. Yeah, quill belly is like a bird with a really fluffy belly or chest. They learn to control their instincts to hunt birds, and if they ever say they hunt a bird or anything in the game, I'm just gonna pretend I do not see. <laughs> uh, Tall Echo just became a warrior, so I imagine they're doing good. Saw some wandering two legs. Slumber Sam purposely planted herbs in a hard to reach areas. Willow Tooth is wondering how Duckfall is doing. You're probably going to be joining her soon. <laughs> Rhyme Drop plans to visit the medicine cat. I need to let Puddles get out of the window now. Where Puddles? He's out of the window. Golden Spot wonders how Tall Echo is doing. Seems like a lot of cats are wondering about Tall Echo. Quillbelly now has their adult sprite and is wondering what living with two legs must be like. Ambitious, formidable fire.
Tall Echo wonders how Willowtooth is doing. Is Willowtooth the one who took you out? Yeah. Willowtooth took, took you out to see the moon rise. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, regards to my Espeon looking character. <laughs> Tall Echo is short right now because they're an apprentice sprite still. And Blue Paw saw a two leg kit playing with a kitty pet. Oh, you're really behind. Duck Fall feels underappreciated. Please don't do that. I really love you. And Garlic Kit wonders what it would be like to live in a different clan. As long as it's not Viper Clan, I, I think it would be all right, but please stay here. Tulip Leaf can go out with Tall Echo and Blue Paw, and because Blue Paw's going, so is Willowtooth. They hear an odd sound coming from just behind a rock fall. An angry weasel bursts around, across the rocks, chattering loudly. Blue Paw gets quite the scare, but thankfully the weasel only wanted to get away from them and quickly runs off behind the rocks. That's really interesting. I have never run into a weasel from that. It's usually a mouse or something. Ooh, Paradise Bird, very pretty. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. Um, Quill Belly can go off Rhyme Drop and Tiny Star. We hear the sound of barking, and it's a dog chasing a cat. Swiftly jump into action, they capture the dog's attention and draw it away from the cat. Quill Belly stays hidden and goes to the cat while the rest of the patrol lures the dog away. Bear joined the clan. Hmm. Hello, Bear. You are 118 moons old, adventurous, a fish-like swimmer, and a good kit sitter. I always really like the name Bear in general. We've had Flame Bear and Bear Lightning before. Yeah, he seems fun. J-Clan is on a roll just collecting cats, it seems. <laughs> um, Bear can go hang out with Slumberstream. That uh, Slumber Stem. I keep saying that wrong. <laughs> Hi, Possum Breath. Um, J Clan is going to be a new bordering clan of Galaxy Clan when Galaxy Clan eventually moves. Oh, I'll check Bear's history one second. Uh, gathering moss, and we get moss. Good job. Bear used to live in a specific spot, offering help to all who wandered by, but eventually found their way to the clan. <laughs> yeah, I imagine they would freak out over pet birds. And time to get a moon, too. Tiny Star has a running nose, and Blue Paw finds crow feathers while on a walk and decides to keep them. We have our first feathers in the clan, guys. <laughs> um, living bird names in Galaxy besides Cloud J. I would have to think about that more. <laughs> Tiny Star is having a serious discussion with Blue Paw about being a warrior soon. Tulip Leaf saw some kitty pets playing with colorful mouse balls. Slumber Stem is thinking about taking on a new apprentice. Maybe Garlic Kit? Willowtooth wants to cr critique Quillbelly's fighting techniques. Also, next moon you're going to have the Elder Sprite. Same with you. You're also feeling nervous. Rhyme Drop saw a kitty pet sitting calmly next to a dog. 
Golden Spot is wondering what living with two legs must be like. Cool Belly is hoping Duckfall will tell them a new story. Adorable. Tall Echo now has their adult sprite, and he's very fluffy. I didn't notice that he had long fur. Yeah, Ren does kind of look like Tall Echo. I'll think about that. <laughs> Blue Paw wants to visit the elders to hear a new story, wants to visit Grandma. You're still at 28 experience. <laughs> Cloud J, god of J Clan. J Clan casually takes in the kitty pets that Viper Clan boots out. Duckfall is picking the burrs from their pelt. Someone go help her. And Garlic Kit wonders what it'd be like to live in a different clan for the second moon in a row. Please don't leave us. <laughs> yeah, I can see Tall Echo with long legs. Paul Echo can go of Willow Tooth and Blue Paw. Large dog wandering on the edge of the clan's territory. They valiantly try to lead the dog away with such a small group of cats, they can only lead it a short distance, but it's better than nothing. Good job, guys. No injuries. Um, I don't think I started that long ago. And if I did, we haven't really done too much. We got two new cats, though. Blue Paw as Blue Jay would be very cute. I don't know about if I want to keep the clan name in anyone's actual name, but we'll see. Song says 28 minutes ago. A bear can go a quill belly and rhyme drop. Finds a kitty pet who is interested in joining the clan. Algae Heart join, join the clan. We have so many new cats. Ooh, it's the mask pattern, the new one. Um, she is 102 moons old, adventurous, and a, a fish-like swimmer. We have a lot of swimmers in this clan. I really like that name. J Clan is going to be a new neighbor of Galaxy Clan when Galaxy Clan moves. She's really pretty. She dreamed of starry furred cats and followed her with the whispers to the clan. Fun. So, Algae Heart can go of Tulip Leaf and Tiny Star. Thunderpath. And we crossed it. Good job. I imagine they would be very looked down upon if they ate a bird from their own clan. They understand the other clans because they don't see it that way. But their own clan, that is essentially treason. But if it happens in the game, I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen unless it would be for fun for story. Yeah, J Clan would probably fish to make up for not hunting birds. Slumber Stem can go out, and are we gonna get more new cats? <laughs> oh no, it's the sad version. Well, we find the body of a queen in their kits, so that's sad. J Clan is. Collecting cats like no tomorrow, though. That prompt is so sad. <laughs> Are they actually ghosts now, or is it just... Nope. Tiny Star no longer has a running nose. Tiny Star has heat exhaustion. 
Rindrop was loitering around the Moss Clan border looking for a specific cat. Tall Echo survived a vicious eagle attack with the, mo with the claw marks to prove it. Yikes. Don't know how they would see that. <laughs> A cliff territory with streams and stuff is fun. Garlic Paw touches noses with Bear, interesting choice, and hopes that they'll get to hunt first so they can make sure the clan is fed. Bear was seen chasing a rogue off the territory, and Bear has heat stroke. <laughs> Star Clan, Tall Echo, you need to be more cool. Tiny Star almost got lost near some two-leg nests. Also, please be careful. Two different cats have heat stroke. That's concerning. Tulip Leaf thinks that Blue Paw will make a fine warrior. Star Clan wanted to rebirth Tall Echo. Slumber Sam is giving advice to Willow Tooth. Oh, Willow Tooth is now an elder sprite. We got a loaf. <laughs> Stop pretending you're actually, you're actually tall. Yeah, we're on expanded mode. Bear wants to get to know Golden Spot better. I'm sad that you have heat stroke right now. I would have loved to send you out with your new apprentice. Algae Heart is dreaming of one day discovering something new and exciting. Rhyme Drop begrudgingly allows the kits to play with their tail. There is no kits, it's just garlic paw now. Golden Spot saw a kitty pet sitting calmly next to a dog. How long have you had? Three moons of head damage. Still rooting for you. Quill Belly saw a two leg kit playing with a dog. Um, yes, the cats in this clan do not hunt birds. If they do in-game, I'm going to pretend it didn't happen unless it's fun for story. Oh yeah, we can look at Bear's Elder Sprite. He has the laying down one. Tall Echo wants to explore far beyond the borders of, the, of their territory. Blue Paw wants to go on both a border and a hunting patrol, really trying to prove himself. Um, I'm okay with expanded mode on like streaming clans. It's just with like things like Galaxy Clan that it's hard to do expanded mode in because storytelling wise, it's hard to say this cat is hurt right now and not know the extent of how hurt they are. Like, they could be fine, or the next moon they could lose a leg. So, you know, like, things like that. <laughs> oh, your cat stole your pillow. Garlic Paw is gossiping, and she's adorable. She is strict and morbid curiosity. And Duckfall daydreams about being a warrior in Leopard Clan. We'll have to see if anyone becomes the odd of J Clan. Yeah, I can see that um, cats in J Clan would have a lot of adventurous spirits because birds travel and stuff. Yeah, Daydreamer District. Blue Paw can go of Willow Tooth. And let's add Garlic Paw to this. Oh, immediately red berries. Normally I would proceed, but I kind of love Garlic Paw way too much, so we're just not gonna do that. <laughs> yes, I'm being biased. <laughs> 
Algae Heart can go out with Quillbelly. Shadow of a Fish. And Quillbelly catches the fish. Good job. <laughs> yes, bias. <laughs> Rhyme Drop can go with Tulip Leaf. Thunderpath. We seem to be pretty good at not getting hurt on the Thunder Path. Garlic Paw immediately tries to become a ghost themselves. <laughs> Algae Heart does sound like a Moss Clan name. And Slumber Stem, looking for Tansy. And we find Tansy and Ragwort. It does help nearly... Any ailment, but in large doses, it poisons the body, even to the point of causing death. Concerning. Gonna save. And then we're gonna time skip to four moons. Not enough healthy medicine cats, I'm concerned. Um, Tiny Star no longer has heat exhaustion. Tulip Leaf has heat stroke. Blue Paw is known as Blue Blossom. That's actually really pretty. Slumber, Slumber Stem has fleas. And Slumber Stem was grabbed and dropped by an eagle. Bear has recovered from heat stroke. And Algae Heart has gotten heat exhaustion. It must be really hot where we are. Geese are scary. Blue Blossom is really pretty. You gotta admit that. <laughs> Tiny Star is eavesdropping on Duckfall. Tulip Leaf wonders how Duckfall is doing. I don't like that everyone is looking at Duckfall. That makes me concerned. Slumber Sam is giving some advice to Tulip Leaf. Willow too wants to be chosen as the new deputy. Um, I have some bad news, man. You're kind of old. <laughs> True, open skies being able to see the birds. There isn't much shade to protect them from the scorching sun. J Clan is in the mountains. Bear is sparring with some clanmates. Algae Heart tries to set a good example for younger cats. Rhyme Drop is craving the taste of fish, reinforcing the fact that we live off of a lot of fish. Willow Tooth is playing the long game. He wants to be reincarnated into a cat who will be deputy. Golden Spot wonders how Tiny Star is doing and is still not healed. Oh, we can check out relationships in a second. Quillbelly seems to be ordering their fellow clanmates around. Tall Echo is craving the taste of frog. Blue Blossom, now that they have their warrior name, is now complaining about being sent on Dawn Patrol. <laughs> Ambitious and good kit sitter. Garlic Paw is participating in a rather rigorous training session. And Duck Fall saw some wandering two legs. And let's look at relationships. We're basically just going to comment on any green bars, red bars, romantic like, or any dislike. So immediately has a crush on Rhyme Drop. Potential lesbians. Really likes Blue Blossom. Small dislike for Tall Echo. Very small dislike for Quillbelly. Romantic like for Willowtooth. Yeah, surviving an eagle attack might be a sign from Star Clan. So, Willow Tooth or Rhyme Drop right now. Tulip Leaf. Really likes Slumber Stream. That's pretty much it. Tiny Star is indeed a bisexual icon. 
Slumber Stem. Dislikes Willow Tooth. Dislikes Quill Belly. And slightly dislikes Golden Spot. I'm concerned. Yeah, I imagine that they have tougher paw pads. I can see Galaxy Clan adapting to that. Willowtooth likes Tiny Star back. He also likes Duckfall. I would be rooting for that, but I don't think Duckfall would survive long enough to make that cute. <laughs> because I'm saying Duckfall might not survive, Duckfall's gonna live to be like 200 moons old. Just, just watch. Bear generally seems to like everyone. Same with Algae Heart. Rhyme Drop also reciprocates that crush on Tiny Star. Slumber stem, not slumber stream. Golden Spot has a small dislike for Blue Blossom. That's about it. Quill Belly has a crush on Tall Echo. That's cute. Dislikes Garlic Paw. And dislikes slumber stem. Tall Echo, slightly dislikes Garlic Paw, doesn't have romantic like back for Quill Belly, so it's one-sided right now, and dislikes Tiny Star, very interesting. Blue Blossom, at least Blue Blossom doesn't dislike Garlic Paw. Um, dislikes Slumber Stem. And slightly dislikes Golden Spot. Yeah, I know that the game starts rolling Elder Death at 150. That's why I'm saying I don't think Duckfall's gonna live that long. Garlic Paw. Slightly dislikes Willow Tooth. And doesn't like their mentor. That's not good. Duckfall dislikes Tiny Star. I don't know what Golden Spot did. Golden Spot just showed up with head damage. And Duckfall slightly dislikes Golden Spot. So yeah, some concerning dislikes. Um, Garlic Pod doesn't like their mentor. They just spawn that way, I think. Um, I mean, I can check with the little notepad. <laughs> when Garlic Kit was five moons old, Bear bit into... Uh, delicious prey and garlic kit got jealous. Really petty. <laughs> Willow Tooth can go up Blue Blossom and Tiny Star. Shadow of a fish. And we move too suddenly and lose that fish. Garlic bread. <laughs> um, I can show you what Golden looks like, not sick. We looked at her when we first got her. 
She's really pretty. Such a pretty kitty. This will be a side clan along Galaxy Clan, but we're not going to be meeting them in the next year. It will be something that happens in year 15, but we're setting them up now. Well, let's send Garlic Paw out with their mentor that they don't like. Garlic Paw sized a fat rabbit on the other side of the Viper Clan border. I would proceed, but Garlic Paw is strict, so we're not going to do that. Specifically because I know they're strict. And Quill Belly can go with Rhyme Drop. New fighting techniques with Quill Belly. No one steps up to teach. <laughs> All the concern. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to mess with Viper Clan. Viper Clan is scary. <laughs> Tulip Leaf has recovered from heat stroke. Tall Echo grooms their pelt, happy to find the tears and wound in it gone. Good job. Golden Spot healed from their head damage, but will be forever marked by a scar, so we'll have to look at that. Bear tried to convince Quillbelly to run, run away with them. Concerning. And Algae Heart's heat exhaustion has abated. Yeah, I also hate the no one steps up to teach one. Tiny Star wants to get to know Rhyme Drop better. Tulip Leaf chaps with Slumber Stem about what it's like to be a medicine cat. Slumber Stem is complaining about being sent on a Dawn Patrol, which, why are you sent on a patrol? One, you're a medicine cat. Two, you have a broken bone. Yeah, I can see Kits and other clans thinking that Viper Clan just straight up eats kittens. I understand Garlic's dislike of bear. Um, a little late, but not too much. We still got a while on the stream. Will a tooth saw a kitty pet with a dog? Bear is helping to escort the medicine cat to gather herbs. Why did you try to run away with one of our young warriors? I get that you're adventurous, but can you please just stay? Algae Heart tries to set a good example for younger cats. Rhyme Drop saw some wandering two legs today. <laughs> you adjusted slow mode, Axel. <laughs> it's only five seconds more than I think I had it on. <laughs> Golden Spot promises their clanmates that they won't do anything dangerous while out. Where's your scar? Oh, it's right there. It's just really hard to see. It's across your nose. Is it easier to see? Is No, it just really blends in with your uh, coloring. Well, glad to know it's not that big of a scar and it blends in really well. You're a very pretty cat. I'm happy that you... um. Got better. Quillbelly is sparring with some clanmates. Probably confused why the old man tried to run away with him. The Tiger Claw Star. <laughs> Tall Echoes itching to improve, explore the land beyond their clan's territory. I hope you get better from your claw wound soon, because I would like to send you out with Quillbelly. 
Blue Blossom plans to visit the medicine cat. Garlic Paw is daydreaming about having a mate and kit someday. Slow your roll, you're eight moons old. And Duckfall is recounting daring expeditions for the younger cats to hear. We love Duckfall. Um, I think looking at the baby sprites for everyone would be a bit much, but... <laughs> Full belly can go of Tiny Star and Golden Spot. Small dog right on the borders of Jade Clan territory. Quobelly calls out a battle plan and the cats flow into it, carefully covering each other and driving the dog backwards until its nerve breaks. It tucks tail and runs from Jade Clan territory. Good job. Golden Spot's paw. I don't see anything with their paw. I don't see anything wrong with their paw. What are you trying to point out? Them chasing out a Yorkie. <laughs> Tulip Leaf sending out with Garlic Paw and Bear. Shadow of fish as they pad past the stream. And bear catches the fish. Good job. <laughs> no worries. Algae Heart and Willow Tooth. Algae Heart admits that they think they had a vision from Star Clan. Would make sense. That's what brought you here in the first place. And they talk about whether it was a real vision as they hunt. That is a very loud car outside my window. Apologies for that. <laughs> bear opens his maw and a salmon just leaps into it for bear. Blue Blossom can go, out, can go out with Rhyme Drop. Unfamiliar scent. Something here smells like a cat not from J-Clan. A trespassing rogue. Weird. The patrol runs down the scree slope to see what's up with them, but the rogue turns and flees J-Clan territory. Interesting. Ooh, Dracom's gonna pop in soon. Gonna, gonna yoink my boyfriend. I see you. One second. I gotta... Gonna hide my screen for a second. <laughs> Caught you. At least I think I did. Actually, I don't think I did. <laughs> I'm very good at this. Okay, now you should be a moderator. Also, yes, my boyfriend is in chat. <laughs> Two mods left. <laughs> Did we patrol? Yeah. Okay, time to moon skip. On to moon six, so halfway point. Yeah, just ice and elf left. For the mods. 
Tiny Star was bit by a venomous snake and lost a life. I think Tiny Star is the first leader in these free clans to lose a life. That's concerning. Quillbelly has a running nose. Slumber Sam is free of fleas. Slumber Sam died of a broken bone. We don't have a medicine cat. Uh-oh. Tall Echo's claw wound has healed. Golden Spot survived a vicious eagle attack with claw marks to prove it. Tulip, Le Tulip Leaf's voice cracks with grief, talking about the time they have with Slumber Stem. Oh. Oh no. Our medicine cat just died. That's really bad. How you doing? Halfway there, living on a prayer. Yeah, algae could potentially be a new medicine cat, or at least a temporary medicine cat, since they keep having visions. Tulip Leaf is having a hard day. Yeah, that could have been a Viper Clan, o Viper Clan omen. We're on moon six. We just lost our medicine cat. Willatooth wants to get to know Duckfall better. Bear disappeared the whole day to explore the territory. Bear seems to be disappearing a lot. Algae Heart wonders what became of their two legs. Well, you're adventurous and a fish-like swimmer, but your history says that you dreamed of starry furred cats. I'm gonna go ahead and make you the medicine cat, at least for now. If we find another cat to be a medicine cat, then you can step down, but for now I think you need to step up. I don't know if Bear killed the medicine cat to break up the clan, but that would be interesting. Willowtooth wants to get to know Duckfall better. Oh wait, we already saw these. Rhyme Drop wants to compliment Algae Heart's fighting techniques while I just, just made Algae Heart a med cat. Yeah, Bear could be like a daylight warrior. Golden Spot is heard again and wishes their leader would choose them to go on a quest. Yeah, Garlic is strict and Bear keeps leaving. I can see why they have dislike. Quillbelly has a list of complaints for Tiny Star. Quillbelly, Tiny Star is going through a lot right now. She just lost a life and the medicine cat just died. Tall Echo has the apprentices engaged in a very, very tall tale. At least I can send these two out now. Yeah, we're having a lot of eagle attacks. Blue Blossom wants to be chosen as the new deputy. You're a pretty young dude. We don't have any fellow apprentices. Interesting. And Duckfall is wondering what the inside of a two-leg den looks like. So yeah, that's a tough thing to happen on Moon 6. So I'm going to send these two out together now before I forget. Can't blame Bear for wanting to leave the Eagle Attack clan. Scent of a mouse. Tall Echo locates the mouse, begins the stalk. Good job. Blue Blossom, Bear, and Garlic Paw. A rabbit bursts out the cover, startled by the patrol. And Rabbit had too great of a head start. 
Flobelly is the constructive criticism at the worst possible time, Cat. That is the first death of this clan, and it is a tough death. Tiny Star can go out with Willowtooth and Rhyme Drop. Willowtooth explains an idea they had for squirrel hunting. And we get them by putting food out and we bring back a decent amount of prey. And Algae Heart's first patrol is a med cat. As the oaks are washed with brilliant color, Algae Heart heads out and patrol to gather their last green leaves. And we get some oak leaves and elder leaves. Good job. <laughs> it's the dog's toe now. Yeah, I'm hoping we find another medicine cat or a kitten becomes a medicine cat. Because even if Algae Heart is good at it, Algae Heart is also a senior adult. Rhyme Drop always seems to have petals stuck in their fur. Golden Spot died from a claw wound. Oh, this is horrible. J Clan is cursed. Bye. Um. Uh, I. Golden Spot, you were so pretty and you were younger. Golden Spot joined the clan. No one liked her. She was hurt for, like, all of the moons that she was there, except for one. This is horrible. <laughs> Killed by an eagle. Slumber Stem is currently walking in the dreams of Duckfall, and that concerns me, but every time I see anything about Duckfall, I'm concerned. Oh, that concerns me combined with it. Duckfall hopes their legacy will continue on after their death. I do not have high hopes. J Clan is the new Bug Clan. Yeah, it's it's a tough thing when Moss Clan literally had a war and cats died in it that J Clan seems to be doing worse. Golden Spot died from a claw wound from an eagle from an eagle. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Tiny Star wonders how Tall Echo is doing. Tulip Leaf wonders how Bear is doing. Algae Heart wants to visit the elders to hear a story. No wonder they wanted cats. Yeah, dying from an e from a claw wound from an eagle feels like it means something. Willowtooth is playing a prank on Bear. Bear wants to compliment Rhyme Drop's fighting techniques. Hello, welcome. Don't know when you joined. Um, our medicine cat died. And then Golden Spot died of a claw wound. Rhyme Drop is feeling motivated. The Aarons need to take notes with these names. Quillbelly tries to put on a brave face. Tall Echo promises their clanmates they won't do anything dangerous while out. Seems like a lot of cats are concerned right now. Blue Blossom seems to be ordering their fellow clanmates around. Garlic Paw thinks about Star Clan. Medicine Cat. Aha, whoops. Garlic Paw became a medicine cat. <laughs> okay, Garlic Paw kind of hated their mentor anyway, and she's been thinking about Star Clan, and she has morbid curiosity. Gonna make her a med cat. <laughs> Yoshi. I'm gonna mute for a second.
I'm back. I'm hoping the dogs don't bark too much, but there is dogs outside that they might bark more at. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the jump scare. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi gets um, territorial when he territorial when he hears the dogs outside. Yeah, Golden Spots could have convinced Garlic Pod to become a medicine cat. Either way, I feel like Garlic Pot needs to be a med cat right now. We're really struggling. Fear the dog's wrath. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> Very concerning. I haven't even read the books that Twig Branch is in yet, but I don't think it's that bad of a name. It's silly, but I don't think it's that bad. I agree with names like Brown Fur just being boring. <laughs> Blue Blossom can go out with Tiny Star and Quillbilly. Tempted to eat the prey they just caught. They resist the temptation, going on to make a couple of great catches to make sure the elders are fed. We love that. And that's extra adorable because Blue Blossom's grandma is Duckfall. That's so cute. Yoshi went pack, pack, kill, kill. <laughs> Willowtooth can go out with Bear and Tall Echo. Scent of a red fox eating a mountain goat carcass. I read that didn't running nose have like just chronic allergies? <laughs> or was that just a headcanon? Um... Tall Echo darts low to the ground, gets under their jaws, and sinks their teeth into the fox's throat. It's only one bite, but the fox has had enough and flees. Good job. Uh, I don't want to send you alone so you can join the medcats. If a cat gets killed by a bird, they accept it. They do not, they're not angry about it. They just say that's how it is. Star Clan wanted them, and so it must be. Blackberry pant, uh, <laughs> blackberry plants, not pants. <laughs> Good job. So we gathered a bunch of berries. I see we're just discussing a bunch of names. Hello, you missed a lot. We're a little more than halfway through the year. Um, our medicine cat died. Another cat died of a claw wound. We made Algie Heart the medicine cat because she joined with a bunch of starry cat visions and Garlic Paw became a medicine cat apprentice. On to Moon 8. <laughs> Blackberry pants do not steal my new OC. <laughs> Y'all keep an eye on Slumberstem. Ooh, Quillbelly Trans. Uh, bear dislocated a joint, but Quillberry Trans. Ooh, Trans Girl. We love that for her. 
And she's also been catching the most prey on the latest hunting patrols. First trans cat in this clan. Tiny Star wants to get to know Blue Blossom better. I'm going to take a sip of my water real quick. Crunchy. Crunchy water bottle. Yeah, in the middle of the chaos, Quillbelly has found her true self. We love that. Tulip Leaf saw some wandering two legs today. You have Caddoses that were one kit, two kit, and free kit because they were all identical tuxies and the number of socks was the only way to tell them apart. That's adorable. The crunchy water bottle reminds everyone to stay hydrated. Algae Heart is checking on the Warriors. Garlic Paw is paying extra attention to Tiny Star's announcements. I'm going to check on Slumber Stem before I forget. Can feel some cat forgetting them. I would hope no one's forgetting you already. And Golden Spot is just exploring. Willowtooth is crunching leaves with their paws. We love that. Very fun. Willowtooth heard me with the crunchy water bottle and wanted to get in on that action. Um, my favorite J-Clan cat personality-wise... I think it's Quillbelly or Tall Echo. Bear wonders how Rhyme Drop is doing. Rhyme Drop is curious, curious about the other clans. Yeah, Slumber Stem might feel replaced. Cool Belly has been catching the most prey, as we already talked about. Still love that you're, you're comfortable and happy. Is hoping Tiny Star doesn't assign them to the Dawn Patrol. Gonna send these two out together again, see what happens. Blue Blossom wants to compliment Willowtooth's fighting techniques. Duckfall is grateful they have lived so long. Rhyme Drop is going out with... Never mind, let me remember to take these two out real quick. Tall Echo is going out with Quillbelly. Thunderpath! <laughs> I'm going for it. Tall Echo hears monsters thundering towards them, but it screeches to a halt just in time. That was close. Maybe it's best to go back to camp. Concerning. Um, I kind of don't want to check relationships again right now. I'll check it at 10 moons. Blue Blossom can go out with Willowtooth and Rhyme Drop. Juvenile Eagle. Impressively big fish. So I'm pretty sure that most of the time you proceed on this, you catch fish. I don't know if you can catch the eagle on this. If you can, we're going to ignore that. <laughs> the patrol dives into the water, keen to make a play to steal the fish, but even though its talons are occupied keeping grip on its prey, the eagle's huge wings pack a buffer... Buffeting punch and they're driven back, giving up on the idea of scavenging. I've seen this, pr this prompt before where we just fish alongside the eagle. Um, Tiny Star. I'll send Tiny Star out alone and if they run into anything dangerous, I'll send them back home. 
We are not catching a bird. You keep reading Tall Echo is techno. Algae Heart going out with Garlic Paw. It has four endings. Very interesting. Oh. We're attending the, the resting grounds of... This is sad with the recent deaths. This must be painful with the deaths being so fresh. But we grabbed Rosemary. <laughs> Rip Techno, he was driving the car that almost hit Tall Echo. <laughs> I have the settings that they can just straight up have kits without a mate on. Surprised that we haven't had any yet. Oh! <laughs> Viper Clan! <laughs> Viper Clan, no! <laughs> Viper Clan, this is the second time this year! <laughs> is this the moon that they stopped having a war with Moss Clan? <laughs> Because I don't have that written down, but I think this might have been the moon that they stopped having a war with Moss Clan. <laughs> Is a one moon after the war started? <laughs> well, Tiny Star is happy. So apparently Viper Clan had two wars this year. <laughs> Fuchsia Star on something else. <laughs> we get it, you're violent, that's your thing, but please stop. Viper Clan woke up from war and chose more violence. Viper Clan was fighting both clans at once and didn't lose a single cat. That is low key kind of impressive. J Clan at the gathering trying to get peace to be settled. Viper Clan saying, okay, we'll stop going to war with Moss Clan and we'll go to war with you instead. <laughs> Tulip Leaf is thinking about the strange two leg object they saw. You're still grief stricken. Wait, did Brave Finn get killed on Moon Nine? I don't think they did. Viper Clan starting a war with Galaxy immediately be like, gotta have a war with each clan, gotta catch them all. <laughs> Tiny Star is happy, like war, violence, yay. <laughs> Algae Heart is annoyed by clan gossip surrounding the past and their connection to Star Clan. Oh, are people maybe thinking that they didn't really have a vision to send them here and they're thinking they might not be the best in the position? That would be interesting. That's a very interesting prompt. I've never seen that. <laughs> Viper Clan travels back to the old territories explicitly to go to war with Creek Clan, Bug Clan, and Sharp Clan. <laughs> Garlic Paw is still an apprentice, but they do have their adult sprite and they're gorgeous. And they daydream about being a warrior in Leopard Clan. Not a warrior, I mean medicine cat. <laughs> Do 
Bright Star begging for Kestrel Star back. Viper Clan is the murder hobos of the territory. Willowtooth is laughing gleefully. Bear wants to critique Rhyme Drop's fighting techniques. Rhyme Drop is complaining about being sent on the Dawn Patrol. Quill Belly is feeling proud of herself. Tall Echo is daydreaming about how much there is to see out in the world. Blue Blossom wonders how Quill Belly is doing. And Duckfall wants to get to know Algae Heart better. They must be interacting more because Algae Heart's checking up on her. How are you guys feeling? Wants to send a message to Rhyme Drop? Can feel some cat forgetting them. We just want to talk. <laughs> they have to prove their dominance every year or so, Viper Clan. <laughs> Blue Blossom is going out with Rhyme Drop and Willowtooth. A Moss Clan sent to straight into our territory. A Moss Clan apprentice wandering around nearby, hopelessly lost. The apprentice is distraught upon discovering that they're on the wrong side of the border. And while Willowtooth understands it was an honest mistake, we still lecture the apprentice and then send them back. Good job. Tiny Star can third wheel on them going out. They see a squirrel. And we missed the squirrel. It was alerted by a bird's alarm call. I imagine if it's alerted by a bird, then they'll just see this as there must be something wrong with that squirrel. Like they might be superstitious that maybe that squirrel was sick and Star Clan was saving them. Gentle Paw is strict with morbid curiosity. Sending out our medcats. Finding Juniper. Climbing is dangerous. Finds a couple of juniper trees with their evergreen leaves shot. Shocking against the scarcity of leaf bear, but none have any branches that are low enough to harvest from safely. Sad. The background's so pretty. <laughs> Fuchsia Star. Oh, I'm liking this Maqua Star character. <laughs> What is with Viper Clan going to war and then immediately, like, considering peace every time? Also, Quibbly brought back two babies. Okay. Quibbly also came out worse for wear after a border skirmish with Viper Clan. Tall Echo has White Cough. Willowtooth is retiring. And Bear feels better. Quibbly? You're playing a prank. Where did you get these babies? Born outside the clan. Outsider root, so it's not half clan or anything. Yeah, I made them have borders with each other with file editing. So I'm thinking that Quillbelly had a mate outside the clan. That mate had babies. Potentially Viper Clan wanted to take the babies and they weren't safe. So Quillbelly went and got the babies and got hurt on the way back. Yeah, I'll check the, the relationships in a second. The kit names are, is it Yuka or Yucca? I 
I don't know if that's yucca or yucca. <laughs> they are a little bully. Oh, I think she has pants. Yucca. Okay. I'm loving the unique names. Thank you. I'm going to assume this is a plant. And Mudkit, who is a lonesome little boy, and he looks like he's going to be very cute when he's older. I'll check relationships now. Willowtooth has retired, still has a crush on Tiny Star, and Duckfall. Doesn't like Rhyme Drop. Duckfall. Still doesn't like Tiny Star at all. A desert plant. Thank you. Oh, Joshua Trees. Yeah, um, I live near Joshua Trees. My Nana used to like Joshua Trees. <laughs> uh, Blue Blossom really likes Garlic Paw. Small dislike for Duckfall, but nothing much likes them more than dislikes them. Paul Echo also really likes Garlic Paw. Didn't Tall Echo used to have dislike for Garlic Paw? Also dislikes Tiny Star. It was my Grammy that built mud, uh, mud Huts, but Nana did help a bit with that, but she was on the older side. She was like 70, 80. Nana was the sweet Christian lady type of old grandma. Quobelle still has a crush on Tall Echo. Small dislike for Willowtooth. Dislike for Garlic Paw. Um, J Clan is going to be a new bordering clan for Galaxy Clan because we're going to have a traveling arc, not this next year, but the year after that, so I'm getting them set up. Oh, that's concerning. Um, hate. Rhyme Drop hates Tall Echo. That's, that's not good. Still has a crush on Tiny Star. Dislikes Willowtooth. Dislikes Quillbelly. That's so concerning. Hates them and is jealous. Hey, remember in the beginning when people were pointing out that they look related? Yeah, it's probably a good thing I didn't do that. <laughs> Also dislikes Bear. Yeah, a lot of Pokemon moves work as names. <laughs> Quill did have babies. Uh, Bear, slight dislike for Blue Blossom, but more respect. Garlic Paw really likes Tiny Star, dislikes Willowtooth, dislikes Algae Heart, which is their mentor. I think, if anything, that's probably more of a training is hard. 
I would have been a warrior by now type thing. Small dislike for Bear still. Also dislikes Garlic Paw. Okay, they just don't get along. I think they don't mesh. Why don't you like the baby? What? What? Algae Heart? Excuse you? There's still like two moons left of the stream, I think. Um, Algae Heart gave uh, Yucca Kits bitter herb on purpose. Excuse you? They're literally zero moons old. Algae Heart, I'm no longer happy with you. Algae Heart got a vision from Star Clan and tried to pull a Tiger Kit on Yucca Kit. Um, Tulip Leaf. Slight dislike for Quill Belly. Is that it? Tiny Star really likes Blue Blossom, still has a crush on Rhyme Drop who hates Quill Belly. Dislikes Garlic Paw, dislikes Duck Fall very slightly. Very slightly again. Again, loves Garlic Paw more than dislikes. Romantic life for Vill Willowtooth still. Small dislike for Quill Belly. Dislikes Bear. Imagine if Yucca became a med cat. <laughs> um, Tiny Star is hoping that they're leading their clan well. Tulip Leaf saw a pair of two legs near camp. Algae Heart knows a great garden at the two leg place for a gathering catmint. Garlic Paw is chastising fellow apprentices. There is still no more fellow apprentices. Bear wants to be the deputy. Sir, you are 127 moons old. Rhyme Drop regrets not eating the bird. Uh, gonna ignore that it says bird. Gonna replace that with something like fish. <laughs> yeah, I can see Garlic Pod disliking their position as a medicine cat. Playing a prank on Algae Heart. I mean, considering Algae Heart gave your, your baby bitter herbs on purpose, I do not blame you. Or maybe that's why. <laughs> Garlic Paw casually talking to all the ghosts in J-Clan. Cat still thinks she's crazy. More at 11. Makes sense. Um, Tall Echo thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. Blue Blossom's been catching the most prey. Duckfall is thinking about how too many cats die young. And Willowtooth wonders how Mudkid is doing. <laughs> I don't think Viper Clan throws snakes at the other clans, but I do think that if the battle goes into Viper Clan territory, it would be a very... It's a dangerous minefield of how many snakes are in that territory. Bristle throat and mudstream in one room. <laughs> that is not a lot of cats that can patrol. Um, rhyme drop can go out with bear. A loner who's interested in joining. They didn't join? Probably a good thing. What was that name? Not dead. Oh, it's Straw Arch. Okay. It looked really weird put together. Um, you were a 93-year-old female who is confident, incredibly clever, and a tr talented swimmer. Very pretty. Yeah, Duckfall really is thinking about death a lot.
Blue Blossom, Tiny Star. Practice teamwork. Good job. And these two get along well. It did kind of look like starch at first. Algae Heart and Garlic Paw. Oh, weird sounds and whispers on the wind. We got the sad one again. No, we could have used that. Oh, that's extra sad with it being Leaf Bear right now. We again tire of the war, wishing for it to end. Tulip Leaf no longer uh, has moved on from the grief. Tulip Leaf came out worse for wear after a border skirmish. Straw Arch immediately came back to join the clan. <laughs> Rhyme Drop is expecting kits. Oh, we're not going to see the kits yet <laughs> because I'm going to end at 12 moons. Well, <laughs> that will be a uh, cliffhanger until I stream J-Clan again. I'm probably going to make a poll about whether the next stream should be Moss Clan, Viper Clan, or J-Clan for year two. Also, Garlic Spirit. That is a very medicine cat name. <laughs> Kits you can't see. <laughs> Straw Arch. You know what? On second thought, they were cool. <laughs> I believe Straw Arch is a girl. Let me check. Yep, girl. Giving some advice to Quillbelly. Um, I'm probably not going to stream every day. I'm basically streaming every day that I have an empty house. <laughs> so it depends on days that my mom has work and leaves because she works as a painter. And her work schedule kind of fluctuates. Straw Arch does feel like a cowboy cat name. I think Straw Arch is okay as long as I, like, get to use it, get used to it. It's just seeing it at first that looked really weird, but saying it out loud isn't that bad. I'm gonna try to either stream, I'm gonna try to stream more on weekends, but it really depends on when I have time available to stream. Also, the babies are bigger. Yucca Kit is interested in clan history and never sits still and is nervous for their apprentice ceremony even though they're one moon old. Mud Kit got in trouble for bringing Forns into the nest. He is quiet and an avid play fighter. The dead queen have been Straw's mate and wanted to stay with her, but when she died, Straw didn't want to be left alone. That's so sad. Um, stream will go on until we finish the 12th moon. Willowtooth is feeling rather cross today. Duckfall is snoring loudly in their sleep and is still alive. Blue Blossom is feeling unappreciated. Tall Echo wonders at all that Duckfall has seen and done. Yeah, hoping that the pants curse doesn't come for them. Yucca Kit learned that they had to do stuff eventually and immediately got anxiety. Quillbelly is daydreaming. Straw Arch giving advice. Rhyme Drop thinks about Star Clan. Well, you're expecting kits now, and we don't know who they're from. It very well could be some from someone in the clan. It would be interesting if they're tiny stars. Actually, I don't have same-sex kits on, so it can't be tiny stars. Like, they would still be able to adopt, but she can't have them. Very interesting. I just saw that you don't like a baby. Why don't you like Mudkit? 
Why are you jealous of a baby? Hello? <laughs> you missed a lot. Um, J-Clan is kind of cursed. We've been attacked by many eagles. Golden Spot died of an eagle wound. And our one medicine cat at the time died of heat stroke, I think. No, eagle. Eagle attack. We had to make other cats medicine cats. Oh, the pants curse relates to Galaxy Clan because every time, at least for like the two times we've had it, we've had a cat with pants. They don't really live that long. At least as of now. You know, the pants marking that cats can get like this. So like Olive Kit and um, Roach Paw. Bear is feeling happy. Garlic Spirit wants to get to know Tiny Star better. Love your name. Very medicine cat of you. I really like the pants marking too. <laughs> yeah, I saw that they're in the red. I'm concerned. Algae Heart wonders how Mudkit is doing. Please be nice to the baby. Tulip Leaf is eavesdropping on Garlic Paw. And Tiny Star is wondering if Kitty Pet Life is really so bad. Please don't leave us. Garlic is righteous now? I didn't even notice. Oh, righteous with ghost, ghost sight. Awesome. <laughs> if Tiny Star just left, pulled a Pine Star, said I'm out. <laughs> If you guys gotta leave to sleep, just leave to go sleep. Straw Arch can go with Rhyme Drop and Tiny Star. Uh, the rabbit is acting strange. I'm not gonna risk this. Especially with the pregnant cat. Blue Blossom is going out with Bear. Small dog. <laughs> Blue Blossom only sent the small dog into fits of greater ex excitement, and we had to exasperately wait in a safe spot until the beast calmed down. Such an angry chihuahua. And sending out our med cats. Garlic Spirit tells Algie Heart about the dream they had. They have an in-depth conversation about Garlic Spirit's vision as they walk. By the time they head back to camp, they have a good idea of what they should do with the information. I wonder if this is about Rhyme Drops Kids. The war with Viper Clan has finally ended. <laughs> Viper Clan keeps going to war for like two moons and then saying never mind. Quillbelly's cat bite is he healed. Quillbelly has a running nose. Rhyme Drop thinks they'll have a small litter. I don't think they were saying much in Star Clan, but I'll check them again. Tall Echo's white cough is gone. Duckfall was buried alive in a landslide. Duckfall, honey. Why? Why were you out of camp? That's so sad. That's such a sad way for her to go. No, duck fall got falled. I really wish you just died of like old age. That is horrifying. Oh, maybe the Elder's Den caved in?
Golden Spot is worried about the cats in the Dark Forest, which Day Clan doesn't have any, but Viper Clan is basically all that. And discussing clan matters. Interesting. Uh, Duckfall died being buried. Buried in rocks, I believe. Yeah, in a landslide. I'm gonna start with the babies. <laughs> Golden Spot died from a claw wound from an eagle. Also, because they're literally going to have kits next moon and I want something that isn't tragedy, I will time skip once, but we won't be playing anything for the next moon. I'll just show you what the kits look like and then we can end stream. Also, you're pretending to be the clan leader. That's adorable. Golden Spots is like, why is there an evil child over there? Mud Kid is running around like a whirlwind around the camp. Adorable. Willow saw a pair of two legs near camp. <laughs> Thank you, Duckfall, for dying so we could get a sneak peek. <laughs> Lou Lawson is helping to escort the medicine cat. Tall Echo, no, she's dead. Tall Echo. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the horrible timing. Full Belly is asking the clan leader what they can do to help out around camp. Straw Arch is looking around camp. <laughs> Tall Echo, don't play a prank on the dead old lady. Rhyme Drop tries to set a good example for younger cats. Oh, don't say Tall Echo. Tried to pull a prank and ended up accidentally causing a cave-in. That's so sad. Bear's wondering how cats they helped in the past are doing. Garlic Spirit is playing a prank on Quillbelly. That's so sad. Algae Heart heads out of clan territories to look for new herbs. Please stay safe and don't go into other areas that are... Dangerous. Landslide prank gone wrong. <laughs> Tiny Star said bury her, not prank a corpse. Tulip Leaf wonders who will give them nine lives. That's if you make it there, honey. Tiny Star saw some wandering two legs. Imagine the pain. Well, these will be our last patrols, and then we'll time skip once just to see the babies. So Tiny Star can go have Blue Blossom and Quill Belly. Ghost stories. And despite the tense mood, the patrol is successful. I think it was more so telling stories about Duckfall that they were doing. If the screen is blurry, maybe try refreshing the stream. Bye, good luck with school. Tall Echo can go out with Straw Arch and Bear. A cat begging for their house folk to come back. That is a, that is a long name. Okay, they're sick. I'm going to make an accept, an, an executive decision. We're, uh, we're gonna do something instead. We're gonna keep them as Firecracker, but we're gonna treat it as if it's a warrior name. Making an executive decision, we're shortening that. 
<laughs> Firecracker on its own is fine. Gonna check. Yellow cough. Okay, not red cough. <laughs> He's charismatic, a great speaker, and a good climber. I'm also gonna check out uh, what he looks like when he's not sick. Very pretty. Yeah, we've had way too many specs in these clans. Yeah, yellow cough is bad, but red cough is, like, uncurable. So, or it might be curable, but it takes forever. Yeah, Firecracker sounds like a clan name to the cats, but it's a kitty pet name. Another dream. This time it was Algae Heart that had it. Okay, we're gonna do the final time skip. We're technically going into the future one moon. We're just gonna be looking at the statuses and looking at the kits, and then we're gonna be ending stream. Tulip Leaf is healed from their cat bite. Rhyme Drop had free kits, but refused to talk about their origin. And Bear retired. Let's look at these babies. Poppy Kit, who is a bossy boy. Shivering Kit, who is a polite boy. And Missile Kit, who is a female girl, a uh, noisy girl. And she also has the cute mask marking. And I'm gonna look at your history. Okay. One of their parents is an outsider that belongs to no clan. <laughs> Female girl. <laughs> yeah, missile kit too. can keep missile kit. I know there's one in Galaxy Clan, but I think it's fine. <laughs> okay, me messing up and saying that missile kit is a female girl will be really funny if missile kit ends up becoming translator. And yeah, we're gonna end here. Oh, Tiny Star has the Elder Sprite. But yeah, gonna end here. Here's your sneak peek. <laughs> we had the free babies, not six. Yeah, hopefully shivering isn't a uh, omen. <laughs> there, no, we cannot allow you to name this cat missile kit. But why? There's one in Galaxy Clan. What? <laughs> Click on Tiny Star. What about her? Oh yeah, Tiny Star has already, always had that scar. I think it's even in the thumbnail art I made. But yeah, hope, hope you guys like the stream. I'll be ending it now. I'll see you when I can stream the next time. It might be tomorrow, it might be later, who knows? <laughs> really just depends on whenever I have a free time to do it. And I'll make a poll about which clan you guys want to do year two of first in. So look out for that in the community post. Probably going to put that up very soon after ending stream. Tiny was always grumpy. Bye-bye. I forgot to say, peace.